Welcome back. This is still the Lady Circle. We're having so much fun with our guest this evening, Abba Dope. So far, we've been chopping it up, talking about some very relevant themes and getting some insights into what Abba has been up to. And she's been dropping some serious gems. If you missed it, you're going to have to catch the rerun or, of course, check it out on social media. But we're segueing into that part of the show where we're able to let our hair down and have some fun. The props are already here. Mm -hmm. We have a bag of balls <laughs> in front of us. Many, 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 many balls. And this game is going to be in teams of two, of course. So a two-woman team. Mm. What are we calling the team over here? Abba and Regina. What is your team name? Dope Nation. Dope. Dope. <laughs> dope. <laughs> is this Dope Nation? Team Dope. Team, team dope. dope. All right, we love it. So Team Dope over on this mm -hmm. side. And mm -hmm. I mean, as usual, Team Win, bring it in, bring yeah, it in, bring win. it in. Team love Win, it. baby. Mm. All right, so we're going to play this game of, you know, throw the ball into the bucket. Very mm -hmm. simple. We're going to be doing it from this side, aiming to get as many balls into the buckets that are in front of us. And after a minute, the team with the most balls... Win. Win. Ready, set, go! Oh, oh my god! Nearly, 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 nearly! What the fuck? I'm at for you, wait. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> you don't have too many oh, chances. Oh my god! Oh. Last one, let's see. Is she gonna get it in? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah! Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, all right, let's see what we have here. Let's see. Listen, and trust me, it looks easy, uh, but it's not easy. I agree. I all right, agree. Um, okay, let's do it this way. Team Dope, reveal for us or reveal to us how many balls you have. One, two, three. Oh, hey, hey, oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right. Who's ready to see what team Win was up to? Ooh. All right, let's get into it. One. I think you need more hands than that, oh. One. A one, three. Oh my God, is two. that four? Do we have oh. more? Come on, give Do it to them. More? In fact, you know what? Bring, 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 let me try some. Bring it back. Abba, 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 Counts for us. In Chinese. In Chinese, let's go. Yango. Okay. E. 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 R. R. San. San. Sir. Sir. Wu. Wu. Liu. Liu. Come on. Chi. Chi. And that is what he <laughs> win was able to do. So the proof is in the pudding. pudding. Woo. Woo. All right, listen, I've got to catch my breath because we have five things coming up. I told you today you were going to have a wonderful time. We've done some or had some enlightening conversations mm -hmm. and it goes on from here. So if class is ready, we're going to do a quick course, crash course on five things or five tips for socialization. Mm. Tip number one, be approachable and open. And this goes mm -hmm. for all of us. How many times have you maybe walked into a room and maybe there's somebody you wanted to talk to, get some information from, and they're just the demeanor. Mm. It's not inviting. It's very intimidating. Uh, yeah. yes. Trust me, you don't want to be that person mm. because word gets around that this girl or this mm. guy, they're not mm. that friendly. Yeah. People want to work with people that they can approach. Yeah. They're not afraid to talk to. So think about that mm. if you okay. want opportunities to come your way. Listen actively. There's a saying that you need to listen to understand, mm. not just listen to respond. Yeah. You know when you're talking to somebody and you know they're not, they're just not listening to what you're saying. They want you to finish talking, yeah, so they yeah. say their bits. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's not great for socialization. Okay. Otherwise, nobody's going to want to be around you. Or for those who, it's not a two-way street. They mm -hmm. always want to talk about themselves mm -hmm. or their problems. Mm -hmm. They never ask you how you are. They yeah. never get follow-ups from you. You also don't want to be that person. Tip number three, intimate conversation. Intimate conversation. I believe that means to initiate mm -hmm. conversation. Don't always wait, um, you know, to be 
asked mm -hmm. a question. Maybe your boss is always the one that comes in, good morning, um, you know, Sika, how are you doing? Maybe one day you want to go and actually initiate, knock on your boss's morning, door. Right. Hi, boss, good morning, how are you doing? Trust me, it's those little things that people remember you for. This yeah. person is considerate. They will actually come and check on you. Mm. Find common ground. Mm. People love it when you have things in common with them and you'll be surprised that through conversation you have way more in common with the next person than you think. Maybe you've both experienced grief. It's like little things that you yeah. might not even know until you get closer to mm -hmm. them. You feel me? So um, find common ground and build on that. Maybe you both like a specific sport, then you can go out and play that sport. That also fosters good socialization. Mm -hmm. And finally, be authentic and genuine. Yeah. You might think that nobody has picked up on the fact that you're not being yourself. Mm -hmm. Trust me, people can pick up on it when you're not comfortable, when you're not being yourself. Yep. It's very obvious, right? And one thing I always say is nobody can beat you because nobody can be you. Come you are on. one of a kind. So be authentic, be yourself. People love confidence and it draws people closer to you. So imbibe all of these qualities. Make sure you keep these five, five tips in your back pocket and use them in real life. Okay. All right, very Thank nicely you. said. Okay. All right. So on that note, Abba, we know you are an entrepreneur, you're a TV personality, you're a model, you're a TikTok sensation, but now we want you to be what? A presenter. Oh, but just look in there and just tell them we're going we on a quick break. We'll be right back. This is your thing. We are going on a quick break, and when we're back, we give you more juice. Stay tuned. <laughs> Woo! Lady Circle. Lady Circle. Many thanks to Yas yeah Sanitary Pad, MTN, Yamvita, Onga, Cowbell, Our Milk. <laughs> And there is still so much excitement happening right here on the Ladies Circle. As always, thank you so much for returning to us. We went on that quick commercial break, and I'm sure you have restocked on the snacks and the drinks. We have a little ways to go until we're bidding you farewell. A big thank you to all of our sponsors, Yaz, Woodin, Onga, Tasty, Tom, MTN, Cowbell, Yamvita, and also Glutha White. All right, well, we're crowning this episode like we always do with a fantastic session of Guilty Not, not guilty. guilty. This is Abba's first time of playing Guilty Not Guilty. So let me just explain the rules. It's very simple. Mm -hmm. We'll ask a couple of questions. And you have to truthfully okay. tell us if you're guilty or, or you're not guilty. guilty. So ladies, are we ready? Yes. Yeah. All right, question number one. Have you ever had the idea to jackpa or leave the country because of doing so? <laughs> oh, I'm close. To be honest, you're not, no? It doesn't no. bother you? No. All the petrol and generators that no. you have to buy, no? No. Okay, all right. Number two, have you ever traveled outside of Ghana and then missed Ghana so much you wish you could come back? No. <laughs> no? No. All right. Question number three, have you traveled to a beautiful place outside of Ghana and wish you stayed there permanently? <laughs> no. I wow. went to Mauritius and Mauritius was absolutely gorgeous. In fact, I wish I could see those views every single day. What about you? Nah, I mean, listen, no matter where in the world I find myself, uh, I'm always eager to come, come back, back home. I'll be honest. Anyway, there's no place like home. Yeah. Number three, have you ever traveled outside Ghana that was so developed and wonder where Ghana went wrong? Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Why Ghana, why? Question number five, have you ever traveled outside of Ghana and regretted it? Regretted? No. 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 It's always good no. seeing other places and then, you know, opening mm -hmm. your worldview. And then question number six, have you ever dated a foreigner? No. Yeah, what happened to you? Hey! Yeah, what to you? Give us. When you say foreigner. Yes, somebody who's not Ghanaian. So not Jamaican, Ghanaian, British. Zimbabwe. Yes, Chinese. Them one <laughs> Hey, girlsy. Yeah, you need to develop an international yeah. palette. Well, there we have it for guilty, not guilty. Yeah. Ladies. That was so fun. What should we say to Abadope? She's been yeah. a great guest, hasn't I mean, yeah. she? Oh, yeah, she Words has. Words are not but enough. Abadope, you are jack of all trades. You're doing everything. And people like that always have something up their sleeves. 
What do you have up your sleeve? God willing, this year I'm not doing any restaurant branch, but um, I want to create a good platform for those who want to learn how to cook. Oh, mm. nice. So probably it's cooking. Mm. When the time is right, I would let you know. Okay, mm. we Love see about the doing cookathon. Hey! <laughs> 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 I sent the Ghana, but they Guinness people email. Them. Hey, you sent it. The time they brought the feedback, I realized everybody was jumping into them. I said, like, hey! Oh, mm, so you didn't do it again. Some, some dreams are delayed, you know. Mm, mm -hmm. But nevertheless, those who went in for it, equally is the same for Ghanaians. So mm, yeah. I support them with my heart. Okay. Yeah. Abba, we just want to say thank you so much for being a fantastic guest. Thank this you. This is not going to be the last time we're going to have you on the show. We're oh, sure yeah. you had fun. We had fun. The viewers at home did. And Yaz mm -hmm. just wants to say thank you. Mm. So we have a little package for you. A nice hamper from Yaz. Let me carry it mm -hmm. and bring it to the Abba Dope. So this is from Yaz. For being so authentically you, mm -hmm. they know that you love Yaz mm -hmm. and everything about it. So they just want to say, continue being your beautiful self. Mm -hmm. All your endeavors, they hope to support you. And thank you so much for coming on the Lady Circle. Thank so as you can you. see, it has so much that you can use for your personal yeah. self. Yeah. You can use it even, you can even give some of your ladies in the restaurant. Yeah. And yeah. share with them yeah. some cornflakes, some toothbrushes, mm -hmm. um, some soap. If, no, the, yeah, panty yeah. line, yeah. they got you really covered. Some tickets to Jaffa. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> but yes, this is from Yaz. Thank you so you. much, Yaz. You're welcome. I really do appreciate it. Mm. Welcome. All right. I have Fantastic. everything that I need in this. Amazing, yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Well, on that note, we're going to be bidding you adios, au revoir. See you later. <laughs> what else? Farewell. Farewell. Mm. All of that good stuff. How do we because... say goodbye in Chinese? Oh, yes. actually. I'm <laughs> 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 <la